people beating on the ceiling like we down here at the last day. Once again, if you're just in, please silence your cell phones and remember the restrictions against uh, videoing with your cell phone at the news conference. Uh, start with a statement from you, Coach. Just a great win for our team, obviously. It's uh, back against the wall and a lot of drama there at the end. So I thought uh, Hagan Smith did a tremendous job tonight. He gave us five really good innings, gave up a couple of hits, struck out eight. and. I thought Gaddis did a really nice job for Ole Miss as well. I mean, he kept us off balance through a lot of off-speed pitches. And, you know, we uh, we hit two balls out of the park. But other than that, really didn't do a whole lot against him. Uh, Lead-off double. But, uh, you know, it ended up coming down to the bullpens a little bit. And, uh, you know, credit to uh, Evan, Evan Taylor came in, did a great job for us, got us out of a little bit of a jam. Um, and then, obviously, Zach Morris came in and uh, – you know, finished it up for us. So big win for us. Okay, we'll open up for questions for the student athletes. And remember, name and affiliation, please. Back here, start. Justin Anchor, 1037 The Buzz. Brady, um, obviously it was a crazy 24 hours for you. The lineup change and then tough day yesterday. And then to bounce back and hit the monster shot. Just curious about sort of what you've been through mentally the last couple of days and your focus today. Uh, yeah, uh, obviously. You know, didn't have the best day yesterday, but uh, you know, you can't control the past. You got to look to the future and uh, face an elimination. You just, you just got to do whatever you can for the team. Okay, Tom. Uh, Hagen, uh, Tom Murphy, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Hagen, just your mental approach to, to today, how you felt, and then just executing. Can you talk about what your repertoire was today? Um, my mental approach today was just the ball over the plate, just throw strikes, because. I know I just get those strikes to give us a chance. I walk people. I won't go long, deep in the game, and help our team. And then what, what you threw today? Um, a lot of fastballs, a lot of sliders, and a few changeups. More sliders than I usually do. Okay. They're in the middle. Robert Stewart, the Arkansas Traveler. Uh, Brady Hagan, if both of you guys can answer this. Um, what, what was it like in the dugout there in the bottom of the ninth? What, what was the emotional uh, response, I guess? Hagan, you start. It was a crazy feel. I mean, everyone, we knew Zach was going to get out of it. We had everyone in the dugout had faith in him. So, I mean, it was, I mean, the nerves were high, but we knew he was going to get out of it. Brady? Yeah, Zach, Zach's been clutched for us all, all year long. He's done a great job, and uh, we all had faith in him. We all had belief, belief in him. And, uh, you know, he didn't have the best start that he that he wanted the other day, but you know, he, he came out and uh, proved himself tonight. Right here, Molly. Andrew Hutchison, Hogbeat.com. Brady, uh, what what were you looking for on the home run, and was that maybe the hardest or longest ball you ever hit? Uh, it was 1-0, and uh, I guess I was just looking for a fastball over the plate, and uh, luckily I got it, and. You know, it might be the furthest home run that I've ever hit. Uh, I'm not sure. Tom. Yeah, Brady, I wanted to ask about the opportunity tomorrow. They're, they've already announced Dylan DeLucia, their ace. You guys might be able to throw Connor for, for a ch chance to win it all. Just your thought about what tomorrow brings. He's been, he's been really good this whole year, and uh, it's going to be tough for us. We're going to have to fight, and uh, it's going to take all of us to win. And, you know, it's just going to be a battle between the two teams. Okay, any more questions for the student athletes? I guess not. If you have any other requests for anybody else, check with Oliver. Remember, the locker rooms are closed. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Now questions for Coach Van Horn, and we'll start with Christine. Coach Christine, along with the Southwest Times record, um, just what did you think of Hagen Smith's outing? I know you touched on it a little bit earlier, but um, what did you see from him, especially given that his last couple of starts, you know, hadn't gone as long and been as strong? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> he's had some really good outings, but it's been at the end of the game for the most part. But as far as starting, you know, he'd be a little bit of a roller coaster down the stretch. He has great stuff. Uh, so obviously, I, I thought he was, I thought he was outstanding. You know, he had two little spurts in there that he just, he just lost the strike zone. You know, and I think both times it with two, with two outs. 
Got a couple outs, four balls in a row, two balls on the next guy. Coach visits him, he throws three strikes, Rowe gets a strikeout. Seemed like it happened one other time. But other than that, he was pretty good. Um, you know, they, they fought him pretty good, got his pitch count up a little bit. But uh, for the most part, just really proud of Hagen. He hadn't been feeling very good, too. He's had, like, sore throat, you know, testing him for strep throat and a lot of things in the last week, but he didn't have it. Uh, you know, he's even talking a little – you can hear him talking a little different. So, uh, just really good job. Okay, Tom. Hey, Dave, I want to ask you – Tom Murphy, Arkansas Democrat. I want to ask you about navigating through the ninth. And the fact that Morris gets to come in against the team that roughed him up the other day and, and close it out for you. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of navigating there. It was just holding on, <laughs> it looked like to me. But uh, Morris did a tremendous job. I mean, he talked to me last night after the game. He said, I want the ball again. I said, I said just be ready. And, uh, and I appreciated him talking to me a little bit about it. And uh, when he came in, I just said, hey, man, can you do this? I said, yes, sir. I said, OK, here you go. Go get it. And. Uh, he, he had a little different look to him tonight, looked like to me, than last night. So I was proud of him. And uh, sometimes you don't know till you experience it. And you have to, you have to get knocked down a little bit to uh, have success. And I think he, he, really, he really genuinely wanted the ball tonight. And he probably didn't see himself pitching in that situation. But that was, that's what it was. And uh, really nice job. See, no, no question over there. OK. Right here. Andrew Hutchinson, hogbeat.com. Dave, uh, you mentioned Slavens had been kind of struggling at the plate. What, what was different from him today at the plate? What did you see out of him, and especially on that home run? Well, I knew he was going to have a pretty good night when he walked his first at bat. He took some pitches. He laid off a 2-0 pitch. A lot of times he'll get a little jumpy at that 2-0 pitch and try to hit it 438 feet or whatever. He hit that ball to center field tonight. Uh, I mean, he, he swings a little too hard, but when he laid off that, he ended up drawing a walk. I thought, okay, man, back to the way it was a week ago. And, uh, and he put a really good swing on a left-left fastball. And light breeze blowing in, really. I mean, that was all Brady. And uh, it's just a good – it was a little bit flatter swing. And he tried to stay through the middle. I mean, that's what kept we talking to him about today in pregame, you know, in the batting cage. Just stay through the middle. Go the other way. Just think other way, middle. And that's pretty much what he concentrated on. And, and, he, and, and he did it. Back over here, Christine again. Christina Long, Southwest Times record again. Coach, does winning a game like this that was this close and this stressful kind of help confidence for tomorrow, or how does it influence how you approach tomorrow? I think at this time of the year, it's just about winning games and hanging in there. If we would have done this maybe a month and a half ago, two months ago, I would have told you, yeah, it's really going to help our confidence moving forward. Um, but at this time of the year, uh, I think the team's very confident and uh, pretty loose and, you know, how about the play that, that Jalen Battles made? You know, nobody's really mentioned that. What an unbelievable play. Um, hats off to Coach Thompson having the left fielder flared up with two strikes. You know, how about Zach Barr and having, you know, the stuff in front of me where I can put the shortstop more in the hole. And, I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, Michael Turner calling an incredible game. I mean, I don't think we called a pitch for him tonight. And, you know, a couple suggestions, but it's unbelievable. I mean, you hold that team down to five hits and two runs, but they've been doing the last two weeks, three weeks, pretty good. Okay, right here. Coach, obviously it's all hands on deck tomorrow, but I'm assuming Connor Nolan, is, have you made the decision that he's going to be the one that starts tomorrow? Yeah, Connor will start. And also I wanted to ask about Evan Taylor. Just a really good performance from him tonight. What did you see from him? And going into that ninth inning, did you know you were probably going to have a short leash on him going into there? Yeah, I mean, we were just, you know, obviously hindsight's twenty twenty. We wanted – he was throwing strikes, and he was feeling strong, and he wanted to go back out. And we – you know, obviously you discuss it in there a little bit, but he's older. Um, so we sent him out. we got to, you know, give Graham credit, man – or uh, Alderman credit. He did a great job tonight. He got three hits and – he just took what he gave me. He spotted a fastball away. He just slapped it to right. You know, he knew they were down more than one run. Home run wasn't going to do him really any good. He needed to just get on. He did it. Um, it was a that was a professional bat. And uh, then we decided to go right-handed, and obviously it didn't work out so well. But uh, yeah. Okay, Andrew. 
AndrewHutchinsonHogbeat.com. Dave, you mentioned going with Connor. What, what what do you expect from him on maybe short rests? And uh, was that kind of the plan all along was to have him for tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, that was that was the plan. If we could get to tomorrow, then, uh, I mean, we weren't going to use him tonight or we would have used him. And uh, give him another day. And uh, he's been preparing for it and, and working out just like their guy. He was long tossing today. We saw him. We watched. We knew that uh, – you know, he was getting ready for tomorrow if needed. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan, and I don't know. We'll just, you know, again, the game usually tells you what to do. We'll see what we see from him and see what kind of stuff he has, see what type of swings they're taking, and, you know, we'll go to the next guy. Tom? Yeah, Dave, maybe just a quick comment on Lanzilli. He's got three homers here, and just what you've seen out of him here. He's really confident. Um, he's gotten behind in the count a little bit and gone the other way. You know, the ball he hit out of the park today, really, uh, he was out front on a changeup, but he really barreled it up. I mean, he's strong. And uh, I think he kept it below the wind a little bit, and it just got out of the, the park. But, no, nah, I think he's just enjoying it. You know, he knows this is it. And uh, going up there and letting it fly a little bit, I like it. Okay, any more questions for Dave? We'll have some more tomorrow. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Thanks. Okay.